What's up YouTube, TCM here back with another video and today we're going to be talking about email security and how you can fortify your organization's email defenses. So email security really hinges on three protocols. We have SPF, we have DKIM, and most importantly, we have DMARC. These three protocols are going to be key to your organization's email defenses. And I'm going to cover these today, what they are and how you can actually protect yourself from phishing attacks and spoofing attacks and all other things in between. So let's go ahead and just dive right into this. Okay, so to show you these protocols and to explain what they are, we're going to use a site called easydmark.com. This has a free scanner on here. If you just scroll down a little bit, it says analyze your domain security. You can just come right here and type in your domain name. I'm just gonna put in my domain, which is tcm-sec.com. And I'm just gonna hit scan here. Okay, and we come back with a four out of 10. Not great. We are getting dinged on DMARC and SPF. It looks like we're doing okay on DCAM and then BIMI. We don't have to worry about BIMI. This is a little bit more of advanced security. So we're really gonna focus on these three main email protocols here. Okay, so what's cool is we can actually click on see details for this report and it's gonna bring up all the details here. So what we can do is we can actually click into any of these categories. For example, let's click on SPF here. Okay, so I'm gonna to come to the screen for a second. Let's talk about what SPF actually is. SPF is the sender policy framework. So this is what's going to prevent bad people from spoofing your domain. So if you don't want people to act as if they were you from your domain, you really need to have your SPF records set up correctly. So let's take a look at this. So we get a valid here, seven out of 10 score. We get one issue detected. I can come here and just check out the issue. It's gonna tell me what my issues are. It's gonna give me exact details here. It's even gonna show me the record that I'm using now. So I can kind of evaluate that against the different lookups that they did and educate myself if I wanna go fix this. What's actually kind of cool too, is if you scroll down just a little bit, they will show you a video. Hey, what is SPF? If you don't know what SPF is, you're not familiar with email security, they've got you covered here too, which is an actually really cool thing. Okay, coming back to the report, our DKIM looks okay, but if you're not familiar with DKIM, that is your domain keys identified mail. So this is a technique that is used to ensure that the content of an email remains trustworthy and unaltered from the moment that it actually leaves the initial sender to when it reaches the recipient. In layman's terms, DKIM is using a digital signature when you're sending an email, and that signature is created based on the content of the email and the private key is only known to the sender. So it's extra security for your email. Now, moving on, we have DMARC and this is arguably the most important thing. So let's go ahead and see what our DMARC looks like. Now, our DMARC status is valid. This is actually set up okay on our behalf. We aren't using easy DMARC reporting in this instance, so we're marked as inactive. I think we're dinged a little bit, but really we're dinged here for this quarantine policy. And it even tells you if we scroll down just a little bit what the warnings are here. So it's saying, hey, you're, you're missing something. You're, you're doing quarantines. In reality, you should be blocking these, right? So you should be using a reject. We are quarantining. And I'm gonna show you what quarantining looks like. It's the most annoying thing ever. Okay, so historically, if you look what I do, I have all of my DMARC emails go directly into the trash. All right, why? Because they are just annoying. They do not parse very easily and it's just not great. Like if we dig into this one, for example, we come here, we get a gzip file, which is an XML. So we have to download this XML, look at the report. If we pull the report, what it looks like, you get this XML file and it's just a bunch of gibberish if you don't know what you're looking at. So how do I actually understand this report? It's very confusing. So this is the problem with email security. It's very easy, even as a security professional, to just get overwhelmed by email security. And that is where EasyDMARC comes in. It is a great platform. It's very easy to use, literally easy is in their name. If it wasn't easy, I would be very upset. It is very easy to use. You get to actually aggregate all of your reports into their system instead of having to go to your email for quarantine, which is annoying. And you can actually parse through the data very easily. They also have SPF set up and a bunch of other features. I'm going to show you all of that right now. So let's go back to EasyDMARC and actually look what setting up a domain looks like. Okay, so I just got logged in. Everything I'm about to show you 
is on the Easy DMARC website. All you have to do is click on the link in the description below this video to get access. If you use my link, you will get a free trial. So you can try this out completely free. Don't have to pay for anything and check out Easy DMARC. You can follow along with me if you want and set up your domain just like I am doing. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is I need to come in here and add a domain. So it's going to say, hey, what's your domain? I'm going to come in here and just say tcmsec.com and I'm just going to hit add here. Okay, and then it's going to say, hey, you need to verify your domain. So what we need to do is we need to go add a CNAME record into our records on our domain. So I'm going to go do that now. Okay, I have gone into my zone editor and all I did was follow the directions on screen, copied and pasted what I needed to. Very, very straightforward, very easy. I'm just going to go ahead and add the CNAME record into my records. Okay, and I've got a success now. We are good there. So I'm going to go back to EasyDMark. And now all I need to do is verify that I did this correctly. So I'm going to hit verify. And hey, look at that. Your DMARC record has been added. Cool. So now we need to wait for DNS to propagate. It could take several hours. That's OK. OK, and we've been told that our domain has been verified and added, and we should start seeing reports in the next 24 hours. Awesome. So our DMARC was just set up that easily. OK, so now you can see we've got a one out of one score. All we're going to do is wait for our reports to actually come through. So we're going to get this 24 hours or so. We'll come back and just see what the reports actually look like. In the meantime, we can also look at SPF. They have this additional feature here called Easy SPF. Now, ours is already set up, but I do want to show you what the SPF looks like here. So it says, hey, this is not enabled. Let's go ahead and activate that. So I'm going to activate my SPF record here. And it's telling me, what do I need to do to actually activate Easy SPF? Same thing. All you got to do is go into your zone editor and add this in. So I'm going to go do that right now. OK, so I went through it. I just verified it. It took probably five minutes for this to actually propagate. And so now we are verified. You can see it just said, hey, Easy SPF is verified and activated. Cool. So now we are activated and we've got easy spf working for us it is literally that easy all right so now i'm gonna go back to my dashboard and we can see that everything is going to be good to go look one out of one on all of these things my email security is better than it was before okay we can even go to easy dmark again and do a domain scan and see how we're doing now we got a green mark on our SPF, green mark on our DKIM, and we're at a five now. We are getting dinged on our D mark, but there is a reason for this. Let's go to see details. And you'll notice that we're getting dinged on D mark most specifically because we don't have a domain policy currently. So remember that P equals, well, it's set to none right now because in theory, best practice actually states that we should have it as none. Until we start reviewing reports, we can do quarantining. Once we're good with quarantining, then we can move into reject. All right. So right now, this is absolutely fine. Once we do a little bit of report reviewing and get along in the process, then we can move to that reject feature. So I'm going to leave it as is for now. And we'll come back and look at some reports here in just a second. OK, so it's been a few days now. I have gone through, I've evaluated my reporting. So if we scroll down just a little bit, we can see the different reports in here. We're going to cover that in just a second. We are now set to quarantine and I'll explain that. Let's go ahead and go to aggregate reports and compliance. And so while we're waiting here, we initially set this to none. None means, hey, all emails go through, even if they're spoofed, they're going to go right to the inbox. Quarantine means, hey, we're going to quarantine those. Even if they're spoofed, they're probably going to go to somebody's spam filter but those emails are still there. So you can kind of see the different settings that are in here as they were coming through and what's a threat, what's not a threat. And you can kind of come through and see, okay, who's trying to spoof us. So all of our mail is coming from Google Workspace or Gmail. You can see, hey, we've got DMARC pass, SPF pass. That's great. And this looks good. Gmail is our compliant and trusted workspace. Okay, we've got a couple of non-compliant emails coming through here from something called serveroffer.net. And this is showing as blacklisted in five lists. So this is probably something that could be potentially a threat. 
Not sure what this is. Server offer is not something we're doing. So somebody is spoofing our email. You can see a DMARC fail and an SPF fail here. Now, threats unknown here. Again, we've got this unknown source. Looks like it's coming out of South Africa. Okay. And it's getting delivered, right? We're still under quarantine. However, it's getting delivered and it's just going to their quarantine mailbox or their spam filter. But that doesn't mean it's not getting sent. So we want to make sure we switch this to reject. Lastly, we can look at forwarded emails and see what's forwarding for us. So MailerLite, that looks correct. Gmail forwarding, Google Workspace, that's all fine. And we are using all of these things. So this all makes sense from a admin perspective. This looks right. Now, I do want to show you a couple of tools. We already looked at Easy SPF before, but we just set it up very, very basic, right? We just have this very simple SPF right here. What you really truly want to do is you want to come in here and you want to activate this and you want to add sources. I have this deactivated just because I have our SPF set very specifically. Okay, so we want to look at the legitimate sources that we're going to be sending to. For example, we're going to be sending from Google, right? So we want to send from Google Workspace or Gmail. So I come in here that automatically puts the record in and I just hit add. And look, it starts building out this SPF record here. Again, I can come in here, add another source and say, hey, well, I'm using MailerLite. So I'm going to come in here and say, oh, look, MailerLite. Awesome. I can come in here and add that. And we can continue to build out this record. So when we do activate Easy SPF, it already has all of these in here for us. Nice. We don't have to build anything out. Now, the other thing I want to show you is if we go into tools here and we go to DMARC, for example, they actually have generators for you, which is really, really nice. And so you could see our current policy right here is set to quarantine. But let's say that I, instead of putting it in quarantine, I actually want to just reject now. Well, I can come in here and say, OK, I'm done quarantining. Let's go ahead and reject those emails so that they don't even send out. We can't be spoofed at all. And we can come in here and generate that for us. We can also do an advanced configuration where we come through here and we can put in subdomain policies, all different kinds of stuff. And if you saw our records before, you saw they were a little bit more complicated. And this is where you can kind of get into the nitty gritty fine details. But just as an example, we can generate this and then guess what? It generates this nice record for you. It sets it to reject, has everything in here, and then it mails to this reporting side right here. And you get to collect all that information easy breezy. So this is very, very, very easy to do. And it was that easy to set everything up. Easy DMARC is an awesome tool. They even give you the answers for free if you want to go set this up. They give you the scanner. You can go do all this on your own. But it's a pain. Looking through quarantine reports is a pain. And just digging through all that stuff is not easy at all. It took literally five minutes to get both my SPF and my DMARC set up, and that was really, really painless. So this is a great tool. If you're interested in using this, again, check out the description below. Completely free trial. You can use that link, sign up, play around with this, and see if you find value in it, because I surely do. So that is it for the video. As always, my name is Heath Adams, aka The Cyber Mentor, and I do thank you for joining me. Peace out.